I never, I never do this. So I thought maybe one day, because it never seems like a good time, I would uh, make a vid showing what do I do in a day. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the goddamn checks. All right, I got the checks. There's like, I don't know, 10 of these. <clears throat> so Adriana wrote those last night and this is just a pretty normal session. Uh, it's like seven or eight people on the day. <clears throat> I send a session email out ahead of time, charts, demos, details, time to be there, what time we're gonna wrap. Um, I was at the studio yesterday, uh, just for a few minutes working on finishing up a mix for the Juna Time record, but when I got in the car and I listened to it afterward, I uh, I knew that I'd, <laughs> I'd have to make one more pass of it before the big session today. All right, so I'm at the studio. <clears throat> uh, I've got the uh, Lexicon 224 still out on the couch. Um, and I'm trying to finish this mix for, for uh, the June and Time record. And I will. All right, the mix is printing because it's all analog, so it has to be done in real time. Um, so now I gotta start getting the studio ready. <laughs> Taking out the trash. I found uh, two little things on the, the Juno Time mix that I wanted to change, so I'm running another path. So now I'm getting some water. Uh, I got all this other stuff sorted for the most part. Now uh, I've got three five gallon jugs. We need water for the, for the people and for coffee. Now I'm at the studio, everybody's getting here. My hair's getting puffy. Let's see who it is. Alex Sadnik. Sweating a little bit, helping set up mics. We've got uh, Frankel, Sadnik, Steve, Devin and I, and uh, we've still got another, let's see, one, two, three musicians left to go, plus Ashley, it's her session. Um, but yeah, a couple of people are here early. We already have coffee on, got the water. Now uh, we're, we're on to uh, chart printing. Just about everyone's here. I think Phil's the only one, he's just running a few minutes behind. But uh, you know, that's that's Phil. And uh, I just had to get a little dig in there. So yeah, we got charts. Here's, <laughs> I'm printing and organizing the charts. We've got them for trombone, sax, lead sheets, organ, piano, accordion, violin. All right, so now I'm just, let's see here. Just labeling the console. Uh, Making sure that we got all of our ducks in a row. Oh yeah, vocals. Okay, so they probably got it on the first take, but I had them do a second take, which is even better. Uh, and. Here's what, what's happening out there. And then uh, here's Dev taking a well-deserved break. Gonna take some snaps. We were just talking about how good we were. <laughs> because it's a uh, quarter after 11 and uh, well, 11, 13. I swear to God, a quarter after 11, we'll have our take and we'll be moving on to the second tune. And that's a full setup. Everything you see here on the board, Tones, performance, you know, the whole deal. So, uh, just, <laughs> we're good. All right, so it's quarter to one. We've got two more songs to cut. I'm not feeling quite so smug right now, but uh, uh, we're gonna get it done. The last one took a little bit longer. It was a little more intricate. You know, and we do these sessions, there's no group rehearsal or anything, right? We're running through it a couple of times 
then we're cutting it and then we move on to the next song. So two more to go, about an hour and 10 minutes, we'll get it. All right, so it's uh, just shy of three and Dev's out here tearing down. Session's over, got some hang time, listen to some playback. Uh, we got everything done maybe 15 minutes over just because I had everybody do a third take of the last tune. So that was the take, by the way. The, I, this is like three quarters of the way through my day, right? It's like I mixed the tune, you know, got, Adriana and I got the kids off to school. She did most of the work there, uh, made me breakfast and, and the kids. Um, my friend George Madrid uh, it handled like a licensing thing on Maria Elena's new record. She does a Hoagie Carmichael cover and uh, uh, we need to get a mechanical license for that. So paid the license and you know what I mean? Like, the, the, cause there's the label side, right? There's the studio production, all of these different parts and pieces that go into like a day of work. Um, and this is, you know, co cobbling it all together. So anyway, about three o'clock, Dev and I are gonna go have lunch. Del Taco, of course. Lunch break. People do this shit all the time. They just film everything they do. <laughs> all right, so I just had uh, lunch with Devin at Del Taco. His, his work shift is over. Um, the band is getting finished with their rehearsal. And now we're just gonna cut a quick um, uh, group vocal. And then my day is done. <sighs> okay, day is over. It's about six o'clock. Just cut vocal overdubs, uh, like group vocal. Just had everybody gather around one mic and cut it about 10 times. And then we'll put it on three tracks, left, right, center, as like a giant stereo group vocal, which, you know, if you have five or six people cutting it, it turns into like 15 or 18 or whatever, right? So um, anyway, had a little shot of whiskey, <laughs> checked in with the family. And uh, now I'm mostly just gonna, gonna tidy up around the studio. So here's what the live room looks like after a session. One, two bottles, Topo, there's a third one down there, some coffee cups. Um, I used this mic for the final group vocal. We had to do some punch-ins on the Viva Durant audio book since Alex was here. You have, you know, you got, you got the folks in here. You gotta, you gotta be efficient. Um, so we grabbed that real quick. And then, uh, Phil and, uh, uh, Ashley are going to be back in here on Monday. We're going to do a quick vocal overdub session. And then I'll probably have two or three days to mix everything and then this stuff will be done. But yeah, anyways, I've been thinking about doing something like this for a long time. Like my hair, like if you can, if you do like a time lapse, like my hair just gets <laughs> more frizzed out as the day goes. <laughs> I'm all stressed and sweaty. Uh, anyway, hopefully this was interesting to someone. So about an 11 hour shift. I got home now, it's about 6.30. And uh, I get to help out with the with the rest of the crew. <laughs> He's teething, if you can't tell.